protecting us from ourselves? What do people really think about laws limiting serving size? Obesity is one of our society's greatest health issues. Over a third of Americans are now considered obese. Until 1980, only 15% of the population was overweight or obese. So what has changed during that time that could be contributing to the massive explosion in obesity rates? One of the factors is a major change in serving size. The typical meal in a restaurant is now four times larger than it was in the 1950s. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the greatest increase has been in the consumption of sugary sodas. Yes because in the 1950s, the average serving size of soda was 7 ounces compared with the current size of 42 ounces, a 600% increase in size. Treating obesity and its associated diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, comes at the staggering cost of $168 billion each year. Treating obesity and its associated diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, comes at the staggering cost of $168 billion each year. With individuals and governments already straining their health care budgets, it's no wonder that some municipalities are looking for ways to help curb the rise in obesity rates. That's the reason why New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg was one of the first to try to do this by enacting a ban on large sugary drinks. However, the ban elicited a great deal of controversy and was struck down by a judge on the Manhattan Supreme Court before it was enacted. The proposed law would have banned the sale of sugary sodas larger than 16 ounces by restaurants, movie theaters, delis, sports arenas, food trucks and push carts. However, the judge ruled against the law because he found it arbitrary and capricious, as it was not consistently to be enforced throughout all establishments in the city. Could a person could still go into a 7-Eleven and buy a big gulp or get a large serving from a corner store? Yes. It also would not have stopped people from buying multiple 16-ounce servings. Which state with the highest obesity rate? Ironically, Mississippi with the highest rate of obesity in the nation, passed what was called an anti-Bloomberg bill. They enacted a law that prevents any town, county or municipality from enacting any restrictions on portion size or from requiring that calorie counts be put on restaurant menus. Mississippi State Senator Tony Smith, who was a restaurant owner and who drafted the bill, said if the market demands that I serve a more healthy food, I'll do that to meet the mark. But. Why should I risk my capital, my hard work, my efforts that I've put in to build a restaurant on what a government official thinks? Are there studies? Yes, studies have shown that most people will finish whatever size portion they are served, no matter the size. If a bag of chips consists of three portions, they will not stop a third of the way through the bag. Do you think there are other factors involved? Although obesity certainly is due in part to consuming large portions, there are also other factors involved. What would you think the government will do? The government must be subsidizing healthier foods, such as vegetables and fruit, and people start reducing their consumption of processed and refined foods, including their intake of sugar and fat. Enacting a ban on large portions is not likely to have a great effect on obesity rates. Thank you. You're welcome.